안녕하세요. Uh, my name is Mike Sebatic, and I'm Vice President of Engineering at Motional. At Motional, we have a mission to deliver fully autonomous, self-driving vehicles that can scale to meet the world's transportation needs. Motional was founded as a joint venture in 2020 between Aptiv and Hyundai. But our history goes back much farther than that, through the combination of two of the world's very first self-driving startups, one being Newtonomy out of MIT, and the other being Automatica from Carnegie Mellon University. Our partnerships with Hyundai and Aptiv really set us apart in the industry. Through Hyundai Motor Group, we get access to the world's best R&D and production capabilities. And through Aptiv, we get advanced expertise on advanced automotive technology generally. Motional is building SAE level four self-driving vehicles, which means vehicles that can operate themselves completely without human intervention. And we've been at the forefront of this industry now for over a decade. In 2016, Motional launched the world's very first robo-taxi pilot in Singapore. In 2018, we joined the Lyft network and have been giving rides to the public since, and now have the world's longest standing public robo-taxi fleet. In 2020, we became one of the world's very first companies to drive autonomously on public roads. And in 2022, we became the first AV company to do both rides and deliveries on the Uber network. And now we're preparing for the commercial launch of our product in Los Angeles and Las Vegas. We've also been a leader in partnerships in this space. We have deep partnerships with Uber and Lyft, which are the world's largest ride-hailing companies. We've been giving public rides now in our AVs for over five years, and we've given 130,000 rides with an average five-star rating in over 95% of those rides. But emotional safety comes first. Our safety-first culture can be demonstrated by the fact that we've driven over two million miles autonomously and given 130,000 public rides with zero at-fault incidents. We received a first-of-its-kind safety endorsement from the TUF Suit Organization, and our testing in five cities across the US and Asia has given us a diversity of experience that allows us to build a robust and a safe product. We've also led the industry in safety in many ways through the publication of a renowned white paper on safety in the industry, by being the very first company to offer public data sets for real-world self-driving use cases to advance research and development in the community, and our partnerships with Lyft and Uber add additional scrutiny and rigor to ensure our operations are safe and that we're building a safe product. Motional's first product is the Ionic 5 RoboTaxi. Hyundai's Ionic 5 was the perfect vehicle for us to build our RoboTaxi with. It was the 2022 World Car of the Year, and as an all-electric vehicle, is good for the environment. We've also had deep partnership with Hyundai and collaboration to ensure that the vehicle was driverless at the production level. The interfaces of the vehicle are optimized specifically for the driverless rider experience, and it's been cost optimized to allow for scalability. Through the Ionic 5, we've already introduced thousands of people to self-driving technology for the first time, and we plan to introduce many thousands more as we mass commercialize the product. The Ionic 5 RoboTaxi has over 30 different sensors. Radar, LiDAR, and camera are fused together to give the vehicle complete awareness of its surroundings and to enable beyond human performance. Sensor fusion also creates critical redundancies in the system to allow for safe operation. The Ionic 5 RoboTaxi was built to scale. Leveraging our partnerships with Hyundai and Aptiv, we've been able to source the best possible hardware solutions from over two dozen different vendors. The automotive grade hardware is resilient to extreme temperature and weather conditions. And the high performance computing system that we've built for it is able to process many terabytes of data simultaneously and efficiently from the sensors. Motional's machine learning first based approach has been critical to the development of the Ionic 5 RoboTaxi. At Motional, we've moved beyond machine learning for just perception 
and now is incorporated into nearly every aspect of our AV software. Traditionally, the core challenge with machine learning has been about having better algorithms and making more data. That gets you to a proof of concept system, but we found that it's not enough to enable safe operation in the real world. Now the focus is also on having the right data, being able to deal with rare objects and challenging scenarios, and having the right machine learning infrastructure that allows you to quickly and efficiently learn from every mile that you drive. At Motional, we've accomplished this infrastructure with something we call the Continuous Learning Framework, or CLF. The CLF is a set of interconnected components that optimize and automate much of the machine learning workflow, including things like mining for rare data, creating sim scenarios, and automating the labeling of data. We've also made it very efficient to train, retrain, and deploy models so that we can quickly improve the autonomy performance. The CLF is also going to be a critical enabler to us as we look to expand to new cities and new operating domains. This is a demo of one of the components of the CLF, which is data mining with natural language search. So in this demo, you can see somebody searching for a number of different objects. Authority figures, there's examples here of someone looking for strollers and crosswalks, pets, really anything that we could imagine that we might be interested in to build our data sets through the CLF is now very easy to find. The important thing to note about this demo is that this system automatically annotates all of the images that we're ingesting from the miles that we're driving. They're automatically annotated and indexed and then made available for searches like this. By leveraging a combination of proprietary internal ML models that we've built plus open source, we've been able to take the time that it takes to find rare objects or scenarios we're interested in from sometimes weeks or months down to a matter of hours. This has been a key enabler for us to move faster. Another capability that we've built is something we call AR, or augmented reality. And this is for dealing with rare scenarios and objects that we don't see a lot in the real world. In our experience, fully synthetic sensor simulation is not enough to create ML models that are robust and safe to operate in the real world. However, we've also found that by augmenting real data with synthetic data, we can expand our data sets and improve the performance of our autonomy system on those rare objects and scenarios. So with augmented reality, we take synthetic objects, we match their statistics to real world log data, and then we inject them into the real world log data in order to create more data for training. We also take the approach of LiDAR camera fusion to create better understanding for the vehicle. Every sensor modality has its relative strengths and weaknesses. By combining them together, we can maximize their strengths and minimize their weaknesses. In the example that you're seeing here, by fusing camera data with LiDAR data, we were able to reduce the time that it takes for the vehicle to plan and act by nearly a second, which is actually quite a bit of time for a self-driving vehicle. Sensor fusion also creates a level of robustness that makes the vehicle more safe by creating redundancies. Finally, I'd like to talk about another approach that we take, which is around learning free space from not free space, so free space detection. The real world is very complex, and despite the many methods that we take to anticipate all of the things and all the scenarios that we're going to see, it's unavoidable that the long tail of scenarios in the real world can never be fully accounted for. So what we do is we have developed a model that is able to learn what is free space and what is not free space, meaning what is occupied and what is unoccupied. By having this capability, the vehicle can now know whether something is in front of it or not, whether something is on the sidewalk or not that may enter the road, and safely respond to it without having to have data for very rare scenarios that we may never see until we're actually deployed on the road. This is a key approach to dealing with the long tail of the real world. Here's another demo of the results of our work in machine learning in our perception system. And here we can see the autonomous vehicle being operated in Las Vegas, surrounded by many different cars, and 
being in a very noisy, uncomplicated environment. But despite all that, you can see that the vehicle does an excellent job at detecting all the objects around it successfully and accurately. In this example, we can see the prediction system at work. The AV is the little white car there at the bottom, and all of the other boxes are other vehicles on the road. And you can see that the AV does a great job at predicting where they potentially could go and where they do go. Those are the lines coming out of the other boxes. So we believe that the approaches that we take, such as sensor fusion, as well as novel approaches like augmented reality and learning free space, allows us to build a safe and a robust ML-based system for autonomous driving. I'd also like to talk a little bit about our work on public data sets. Motional was the first company to release public data sets specifically for the self-driving industry. New Scenes, released in 20, sorry, 2018, filled a, filled a great gap in this area. It includes camera, radar, and LiDAR data over 1.4 million images, nearly 400,000 LiDAR sweeps, and from two different cities, Boston and Singapore. This has been sort of a revolution in the public data set space for the autonomous driving industry. We extended this, though, in 2020, releasing new images and panoptic new scenes for new segmentation tasks. And in 2021, we released the world's very first public benchmark for planning specifically. New Scenes pioneered a culture of data sharing in the industry and has become a very valuable resource to the research community. It's been, these data sets have been downloaded by 16,000 researchers and referenced in over 1,000 different papers. From here, Motional will continue to expand our product by dealing with more unpredictable road agents, building in the capability of dealing with diverse environmental and weather conditions, and handling even more unusual scenarios as we expand this technology out to new locations and to new cities. So what's next for Emotional? Right now we're focused on our first fully driverless public service launching later this year in Las Vegas. We're very excited by that. We plan to continue to make technical progress to unlock larger operating domains and conditions so that we can ultimately scale to new cities. We're also already working with our partners at Hyundai and Aptiv on the next generation of vehicles that will be further cost optimized and allow us to scale this technology to new cities across the globe. So that's my presentation. Thank you very much for your time. I'd like to uh, invite you to visit uh, Motional's website at www.motional.com. Follow us on at Motional on LinkedIn. And feel free, of course, to connect with me as well on LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Come, Samanita.